Hello everyone, my name is Rexy and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Y. Today, uh, we're going to take on Route 6. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of grass here, and that means that there are a couple of new Pokemon. And I want to go over them as I go through these trainers. Now, interestingly enough, this is the first one that I wanted to talk about, which is Deerling. Deerling is a normal grass type Pokemon. Um, and it is a very fast physical attacker. Now it's quite an interesting type combination, um, but I actually quite like it. I think Deerling is pretty good. It learns some very nice um, fighting type moves as well, uh, alongside of its um, grass type moves that it learned. And it can definitely be a good option. Like if you didn't want to go for um, Lilligant or um, Whimsicott, then you know, this can definitely be a good option for you. And um, you know, if you didn't want to go for Snivy either, you know, I think uh, Deerling is a very interesting Pokemon. Now, another interesting is that its design changes depending on what season it is in game. It is very cool. You have like the four different seasons all with their own unique design and I, I just think that looks really damn cool and I thought that was a really interesting uh, concept uh, that they used. So yeah I also quite like it for that but since I already have Cherry um, I won't be going for a Deerling. Uh, let's send out Erosion I suppose. Uh, next up is Carablast. Carablast is a pure bug type Pokemon but upon evolution, it will gain a secondary uh, steel type. Now, this gives it some interesting type coverage, um, but it makes it very, very weak to fire. But aside from that, it doesn't have any other weaknesses, which is nice, and it has a couple of resistances on top of that. Now, um, Carablast has amazing attack. Like, it is one of the best attack stats that you can get in the game. Um, it also has really great defense, so it can even take a hit, you know, with an HP stat isn't amazing, but you know, with how high the defenses are, that doesn't even matter. It is very, very slow though. It will almost always move second. But that attack stat combined with um, those great defenses make it a very, very worthy party member if you want to have one in your team. I won't be doing one because evolving it is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, if if that's no issue for you, then definitely uh, check it out because it could be very good. Now, the final one is um, quite an interesting one, actually. Um, and that is a Fungus. Now, this is a Grass Poison type Pokemon. It has good HP stat, but other than that, it's pretty mediocre but overall like it's not really a pokemon that i could um, recommend using i just don't think it really is um, good enough for that what's interesting though is that it serves a similar role to what Voltorb did um, up to now in the previous gens as in being the mimic enemy now you know how if you see items on the floor like um in the overworld like they're like pokeball icons right now, in some previous games, uh, that could have been Voltorb sometimes, you know, like if you were in an electrical power plant and you picked up one of those um, Pokeballs and then sometimes, oh no, it wasn't an item, it was a Voltorb. Well, that is exactly what Fungus is in this game. Sometimes, instead of um, an item, you will get into a battle with a Fungus. And I thought that was really neat um, to basically have this... Uh, essentially this mimic enemy that you have in a lot of RPGs. I, I really dig that idea. So uh, I, I like how they uh, added uh, Fungus uh, into the game for that. Um, but yeah, those are the three new Pokemon that you can get. Uh, I can recommend Deerling. I can recommend Carablast too. Um, I can't really recommend um, Fungus, it's just, there's better grass types by far, there are better 
poison types even, I'd say. So, I personally wouldn't bother. And wow, this girl has a lot of Tim Pole. Holy then. Um, but yeah, th those are basically all that you can get on this route. Um, so, pick one up if you want. I won't be going for anything because I already have a good grass type. Not really interested in Carablast in this playthrough, but you know, they are good. Let me make that clear once more. They are definitely good enough to be used on your team. And let's uh, see what this scientist has. Oh, just a deerling? Just a deerling. Well, hopefully Natsu outspeeds it because Natsu is a bit low on health. But if you had speed it, oh, okay, it just goes for an item move. So if this knocks it out in one hit, then we're all good. There you go, Natsu. Good job, buddy. Good job. Growing to level 28 as well. Nice, nice. And we beat Scientist Ron. Um, you can go into this house here. Uh, it, it is a research lab. It has some interesting stuff. Um, before that, though, I want to grab this item over here. Which is an elixir, always useful. Um, and we can grab this hyper potion from here. That is also quite nice. Uh, so let's check it out real quick. Uh, you can talk with this guy. Some Pokemon change their appearances. Yep, that's right, that's the link. And um, yeah, they uh, want to uh, research Deerling, but they haven't had a chance to catch one. So. They basically want you to catch a deerling, and then every season uh, they want you to show it to them so they can see the different uh, seasons uh, appearance of deerling. I don't have a deerling, but if you have one, then definitely do that because uh, it's quite cool. But we'll just uh, move on, and here's the next uh, scientist. Lots of scientists on this route, and they really like to use their X items on the first turn of the battle, and then attack. So if you can one hit KO them, then they offer no threat. And Natsu should be able to do that with a Deerling. Yeah, X speed, no issue if, that, if uh, Natsu hits, which he does. Good, taken out in one hit. And another scientist taken down. So uh, let's keep going here. And oh, Rayport and we're off. Let's uh, put that back on. There we go. Uh, and yeah, here you can see items, but see, this one is not actually an item, but it is a fungus. So some some of them will have that on this route. And yeah, if you check it, even though you have a repel up, you will go into a battle. So if you don't want to deal with that, you can either just see which items I pick up exactly just not try at all or or just you know um, pretty much just skip it I suppose church on safe seems like a complicated maze but actually it's a straight road okay well thanks for that and there's some trainer tips you can register your item I already knew that now if you go in here you can talk with this little girl and she'll give you a shiny stone which can be used to evolve Mincino so that's a uh, useful to keep in mind and you can talk with this uh, lady right here, and she'll heal up your Pokemon back to full health. And there's a guy here. Uh, there's a place called Mistralton Cave, uh, where you can find Cobalion. But we need Surf, so we can check that out. And here we have Chargestone Cave, but there's a web blocking it. Clay, thanks for waiting. Oh, hey, it's Clay. Looks like the nest of an electric type Pokemon called Galvantula. Don't know why there's a nest here, but if there are folks having problems, gym leader's the one to fix it. Crocrock, take it out. So yeah, it just bashes into that spider web and boom! Away it goes. And here's the TM. So yeah, we got TM78, Bulldoze, a pretty useful ground type move. I'll probably teach it to Titan. Um, and yeah, it'll lower the speed of the opposing uh, Pokemon often. I don't know how good you really are, but if you think you can go, go wherever. And if you think you can do something, keep doing it. Do things how you want. Decide your own limits. Uh, Alright, buddy. Later now. 
Anyway, this is Churchill Cave, but Churchill Cave is a very long route. And I don't want to take it on right now. I want to take it on in the next episode. But I don't want to end this episode here, this early. So what will we do? Well, there's actually, to the northeast of Nimbasa City, there's an optional route, Route 16, that we could have checked out a lot earlier already, but haven't so far. And I want to check it out now. So, I'll meet you guys there. But before I move on, I quickly want to uh, talk about a Pokemon that I actually skipped over. Once you can reach Route 5 and Route 16, in the Shaking Grass you have a chance of encountering Emolga, a flying electric type Pokemon. Uh, I honestly don't think it's good. It has nice speed, but its other stats are all really weak. It, it, it doesn't have a great move pool either, although it's decent. Uh, honestly, for flying type Pokemon, it's not that good. For an electric type Pokemon, it's not that good. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan. Um, but yeah, that is our resident Pikachu of the Unova region. And uh, now that I've covered it, let's move on to Route 16. Alright, here to the northeast of Nova Matanya, Route 16. Um, there's this policeman, he'll only battle you at night. Or apparently already at the evening or late afternoon I thought he would only battle us at night but apparently not anyway he has a herdier level 24 so we'll just take it out with prototype I suppose shouldn't be too much of a threat um, but yeah this route is already available even before you fight Eliza I just didn't decide to show it off because there wasn't that much to do here and also, um, if you come here uh, with strength, which I now have, um, there's a bit more that you can do. So I figured, you know what, I'll, I'll fit it in here. Uh, it slots in here nicely rather than in one of the previous episodes. And oh nice, acrobatics. Acrobatics is a great move. You might think 55 power, uh, that's not that good. Well, if you don't hold an item, that is basically doubled so we're gonna forget about pluck and we're gonna take our item off of prototype and then acrobatics will be a very strong move all right and uh, there's also some cyclists here hey 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 do you want to battle hey come on there you go buddy we look very close like our heads we're near to kissing cyclist Krissa who has a duck clip? Cute little rubber duck clip. But, you know, we have prototypes, so I'm, I'm not too worried. I mean, it could go for a water move, but... Of course we miss. I mean, I wanted to say, but you know what? If we use our rock tomb, we'll take it out easily. But, yeah, no. Our, our stats got buffed now that we lost half our HP because we got hit. By the water pulse. Good job, prototype. Yeah, I can't wait until prototype evolves because it's a bit more stable um, post evolution. And now it's just kind of. Now, Goma is susceptible to any flying type attacks, but hopefully this poison tail doesn't. There we go, it does. And it also has a light. But we have bug bite, so that should be no issue. Right, yeah, there we go. One hit kill. Growing another level too. Good job, Gamma. And we defeat Cyclist Krissa. Now you can keep going to the right, and uh, there will be a backpacker here too. So we'll just battle him. This, this route just mostly has a couple of trainers. Uh, a couple of items too. Uh, it also has the same Pokemon that you can catch on Route 5, I believe. So, so it doesn't contain any new Pokemon to catch per se. Uh, so yeah, that, that's why I also didn't feel like showing it off because it doesn't necessarily offer that much new. Uh, but now that you have strength, there is, I believe, you can get a good item. Uh, behind that strength block. But yeah, that's Backpacker Peter. So uh, we've taken him out. 
Now there's a bit more up here, but you can go past here, it's Marvelous Bridge, but that is not available until the post game. So we'll have to check that out later. But we can battle this other cyclist and, you know, just use this basically to train up a little bit. That's always a useful thing to do, in my opinion. Alright, Whirlypeed versus Whirlypeed. Do I want to do that battle? Uh, no, not really. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna show Ganon off again. I mean, he's not really in our team anymore. Um, because we have Natsu now as a fire type. But uh, I taught him strength to do the strength stuff. So I figure, you know what? He can he can battle a little bit now that we have him with us anyway. Oh, he didn't even take it out in one hit. No wonder I took you off my team. You just aren't that strong. Ganon really lacks strength. I mean, you're three levels higher and it was super effective. You should take it out, by all means. But you didn't. Maybe this flame church will? Well, not this one because it's using protect. But this next one, flame church, should take it out. There we go. Protect fills. Because you can't just keep spamming protect. That that just doesn't work. Nope. We, we just barely don't take it out. Oh well, this strength will do the trick, hopefully. There we go. Oh, poison though, but nah, that doesn't really matter. We're not really going to be using Ganon to battle much anyway. Not on this route. But hit, this is what I brought Ganon for. Because Ganon can use strength. And now uh, we can push aside this boulder. And then uh, let's put up a repel. That way we don't really have to worry about any wild Pokemon. And we can get TM66 Payback, which is a dark type move that's not too shabby. And uh, we can battle this backpacker here too. So there is a TM for you in it for you if you come back here once you have strength. So just decide if that's worth it for you, I suppose. Uh, she has a SWAT loon. I switch over to Cherry just so we wouldn't run into any Pokemon that happened to be higher level. But for this battle... Uh, I, I'll switch over to Gama actually. Because Gama can still do its uh, poison type moves. And a string shot? Yeah, I don't care about its string shot. Our speed fails, but you know. Eh, I'm good with that. And Bug should not do anything. Yeah, that's not very effective. We're Poison Bug, so Bug isn't gonna hurt us. Whereas Poison Tail will still be super effective on your grass typing. So yeah, you get the short end of the stick. Let's use another Poison Tail here. And uh, that takes it out. And that's the end of Backpacker Laura. And then you also have this part up here. Uh, if we had a Pokemon Wick cut, we could cut that open, but I don't have it, and I don't believe it is um, anything good. I think it's just a rare candy, so I mean, if you want a rare candy, you can come back with um, that. And then there's Lost Learn Forest. Um, now, there's a bit of grass here, and there's this, this backpacker here, um, but he, he just leaves... Um, so yeah, that, that's quite interesting. Um, and it doesn't really look like there's much hair, you know. There's this, this caravan, I suppose, or camper. And she just doesn't say anything. Now this actually has to do with Zora, um, or Zoror. But you need like an event Pokemon or something. I don't have access to that. So I can't try that off right now, and I'm sorry. But yeah, for the rest there really isn't much to do here in Lost Storm Forest. One more area we can discover is here in Pinwu Forest. Now, originally this was blocked off by some guy, but now that we actually have um, strength and fly, it isn't blocked off anymore. So let's throw up a repel real quick. Uh, super repel, there we go. And we can go down here now. Um, looks like there would be a hidden item there but there's nothing there but yeah we can explore this little bit of um of uh, the route that we couldn't before and 
is there really nothing here? It looks like there is something there, but it appears that nothing is actually there. But we can find TM22 Solar Beam. Now this is um, a very, very useful TM, and I would definitely recommend picking that up. Um, we can also go here and grab this, a Hyper Potion. Um, so yeah. And we can even walk around here and, well, you'll see some boulders. Um, what are those and what do they do? We'll come back to that another time. But yeah, that is all that was to do in Pinwheel Forest. Now, um, if you actually have seen enough Pokemon, you can come back here and talk with Professor Juniper. Um, if you, yeah, we've seen 58 Pokemon in the Unova region. Um, so yeah. She gives you a gift for that. That is TM54 False Swipe, which is a very useful move. It will always leave a Pokemon with at least one HP. Um, so, you, so it really helps with um, catching Pokemon. And you can also get one more thing, don't you? No, uh, I guess I was mistaken. Maybe that is after a couple more Pokemon. I'm actually gonna call that an episode. Thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed it, leaving a like below would really help me out a lot. And uh, be sure to click the videos on the screen to be taken there, because in the next episode of Pokemon White, we will be tackling the Charge Sun Cave. So see you guys then. Bye.